This Connect the Dots drawing video is a lumberjack gnome. Get your template in the description below to draw with me, grab your art supplies, and let's go everyone! Starting at 1, we're going to go all the way to 8 and make a circle. I'm going to use a circle template, but you can do it freehand if you want to. Now from number 9 all the way to 23, we're going to be doing spikes to make the mustache. And connect to number 5. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now from 12, we're going to go all the way up and connect these dots all the way to 46 and back to 35. And now down here at 47 to 49, we're going to make the boots. And now the second boot. Now here I'm going to draw a scarf and we're going to start between 16 and 17, curving like this, 18 around, and around again like this, between 30 and 31. Now I'm going to connect the two points together and make a tail for my scarf. Now I'm adding a half circle to my boots like this. And from 40 to 44, the top of the hat. Now we're going to draw a trapper hat, and they've got ear flaps, so we're going to draw those like this. Right at 38 and 46. Now I'm going to draw the body, and arms on either side with mittens. It is cold after all. With my marker colors selected and off to the side, I start on my base colors first. The longer occupation and felling trees have been around for a very long time, but the first known use of the term lumberjack was used in a letter in 1831. A Canadian-derived term, lumberjack, describes a person who works in the logging industry prior to modern technology like chainsaws. But now in the 21st century, we just call them loggers. Back then, lumberjacks lived in logging camps, and they all had specialized jobs on the crew, such as whistlepunk, faller, and high climber. A whistlepunk's job was to whistle signals and also act as a safety lookout. A faller's job was to cut down and fell the trees. A high climber would ascend the tree, cutting off limbs as he goes, and chop off the top. Since our gnome was a lumberjack, I'm using the traditional lumberjack plaid pattern on his hat. The logging industry really has changed since about the 1940s because of modern technology. In the spirit of sportsmanship, there are still logging competitions countrywide, and they include such events like log rolling, boom running, speed climbing, chopping, and sawing. Now our lumberjack gnome really wants to compete, but you know, he can't see. As you can see, I'm adding shadows to my picture right now. And finally, I'm going to use black to finish off the lumberjack plaid. If you love gnomes and you still want to draw, check out this video on your screen next, and I'll see you there.